NVIDIA is a leading technology and semiconductor company known for creating powerful processors. It began by inventing the Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU, originally for rendering images and videos. Today, its chips are also used for tasks like machine learning and artificial intelligence. In this video, we'll explain how NVIDIA makes money, where it operates around the world, what outside factors influence it, and which market indicators to watch. Revenue model, how NVIDIA makes money. NVIDIA primarily designs and sells specialized computer chips, especially graphics processing units, or GPUs. These chips are used in a variety of devices and systems. For example, NVIDIA's GPUs power gaming computers and consoles, helping create high-quality images and smooth gameplay. Beyond gaming, NVIDIA's chips are used in data centers, large groups of servers that handle cloud computing and artificial intelligence tasks. The company also offers processors and systems for professional design work, such as 3D modeling and video editing, as well as computer systems for cars, helping with things like self-driving technology. A key part of NVIDIA's business is its proprietary technology. For example, many of its chips are built on custom-designed architectures and use exclusive software tools like CUDA, a platform that lets developers run AI models and simulations on NVIDIA hardware. This kind of technology helps NVIDIA stay ahead by making its products more useful for specific high-performance computing tasks. NVIDIA divides its business into several main segments based on these products and uses. The gaming segment includes chips for personal computers and game consoles. The data center segment focuses on powerful processors used by cloud providers and companies working on AI projects. Professional visualization covers chips used by creators and designers. The automotive segment provides computing systems for vehicles. Finally, there is an OEM and other category, which includes chips sold to equipment manufacturers and other specialized uses. The company's sales can be somewhat seasonal, with higher demand during periods when new games or devices are released, or when companies expand their AI and cloud computing capabilities. Global markets, where NVIDIA operates. NVIDIA is a global company. It sells products all over the world, North America, the United States is NVIDIA's single largest market. Major U.S. tech companies and cloud providers are big buyers. Asia, a large portion of sales come from Asia, including Taiwan, Singapore, and China. Many electronics are made in Asia, and companies there use NVIDIA chips in servers, phones, and other devices. U.S. export rules now restrict some sales to China, but China remains an important market. Europe and other regions. NVIDIA also operates in Europe and around the world. It has partnerships and customers in Europe. For example, helping build AI data centers. Demand in each region can vary, with Asia focusing more on consumer electronics and North America and Europe spending heavily on cloud and AI infrastructure. Macroeconomic factors. What affects NVIDIA? NVIDIA's performance can be affected by many macroeconomic factors. Key ones include consumer electronics demand, sales of PCs, game consoles, smartphones, and other devices drive NVIDIA's gaming and consumer business. When people buy more gaming consoles or new PCs, NVIDIA can sell more chips. Global supply chain, NVIDIA's chips are manufactured around the world. Disruptions such as shortages or shipping delays can slow production. New export controls and tariffs can also affect how easily NVIDIA ships products internationally. Regulations and trade policy. Government rules can affect NVIDIA's markets. For example, U.S. export restrictions on advanced AI chips to China limit sales there. Changes in trade policy like tariffs or technology bans also influence NVIDIA's business. AI and cloud computing developments. The growth of cloud services and AI creates new demand for NVIDIA's high-end chips. NVIDIA's GPUs, once mainly for graphics, are now widely used for AI and machine learning tasks. As more companies build AI applications and data centers, they need more NVIDIA hardware. Key prices and metrics. What matters the most? Investors often track these specific market indicators that signal how NVIDIA's business might perform. Chip and memory prices. NVIDIA depends on other companies to manufacture its chips. If the cost of semiconductors or memory components rises, it can make NVIDIA's products more expensive to build. If prices fall, it could be a sign that demand in the industry is slowing down. 
Demand for gaming hardware. Trends in gaming PC and console sales are useful to watch. More game hardware sales often mean higher NVIDIA chip sales. Growth in cloud services and AI adoption. The number of new data centers or AI projects hints at NVIDIA's data center business. If cloud spending and AI projects are booming, demand for NVIDIA's server GPUs likely rises. If you want to follow these indicators yourself, you can check resources like semiconductor price charts on tradingeconomics.com or investing.com and consumer or technology trend reports on Statista, McKinsey, or Google Trends.